It's the sex tape that shook the media. The sensational trial pitting the former WWE star against Gawker. And left Gawker on the ropes. We make clear editorial judgments about what is worth publishing. Not, not what's legal, but what's worth publishing and what's not. Welcome to Watch Mojo News, the weekly series where we break down news stories that might be on your radar. In this installment, we're counting down 10 crucial facts you should know about the legal battle between Hulk Hogan and Gawker. Hogan's lawyers arguing this isn't about Hogan's morals, but Gawker's, putting its very culture on trial. Number 10. Why did Hulk Hogan sue Gawker? In October 2012, the media website Gawker published a montage clip taken from a sex tape involving the professional wrestler Hulk Hogan. In the clip, Hogan is seen with Heather Clem, the then-girlfriend of Hogan's best friend, Bubba the Love Sponge Clem. The encounter in question reportedly happened in 2006, when Hogan was still married to the mother of his two children. Hogan, who claimed he was unaware that he was being filmed, settled with Bubba for $5,000, but took on Gawker in a multi-million dollar high-profile court case, saying that the published clip was not newsworthy and was posted only for financial gain, causing Hogan emotional distress. <laughs> I was embarrassed what it did to me as a person, but he was, it was even embarrassing as a character. Number 9. Who is Hulk Hogan? Hulk Hogan, whose real name is Terry Bollea, is an American professional wrestler and reality TV star. The WWE Hall of Famer enjoyed massive popularity during the 80s and 90s, featuring on the rosters for both the WWE, formerly WWF, and the WCW. He's a 12-time world champion and a back-to-back -back Royal Rumble winner, well known for his running leg drop finishing move, ripping his way out of his shirt, and for exaggeratedly playing to the audience. Hulk's crossover popularity also enabled him to pursue a Hollywood acting career. I can't break your spirit. I sure enough can break your back. <laughs> established him as a TV personality with shows such as Hogan Knows Best. Hi. Not as long as my name's Hulk Hogan. No, she's not going out with him. And American Gladiators. You've been warned. This is American Gladiators. Number 8. What is Gawker? First launched in 2003 and founded by Nick Denton, Gawker is an online media company consisting of seven main lifestyle blogs, including the gadget-oriented Gizmodo, sports-centric Deadspin, and women-targeted site Jezebel. Business Insider has valued Gawker at $250 million, with its worth steadily increasing every year. In 2013, Judge Pamela Campbell ordered Gawker to take down the clip of Hogan, but it refused. The case against the company has since become a case in point for journalism in general, with many high-profile supporters, including eBay co-founder Pierre Omidyar. Number 7. Who is Peter Thiel? A German-American entrepreneur, co-founder of PayPal and the first outside investor in Facebook, Peter Thiel is one of Silicon Valley's greatest success stories. In May 2016, Thiel revealed during an interview with the New York Times that he had given $10 million to finance several lawsuits against Gawker Media, including Hogan's sex tape scandal. Though Gawker published an article in 2007 discussing Thiel's sexuality, Hulk's backer says he isn't mainly motivated by revenge, but rather by a desire to fight back against privacy violations by the press. According to Thiel, Gawker has, quote, ruined people's lives for no reason. Number 6. What was Gawker's argument for publishing the article? The entire lawsuit is built around the idea of news and what legally counts as newsworthy. While Hogan claims that the sex tape isn't appropriate for the public domain and equates to commercial exploitation, Gawker claims protection by the First Amendment, arguing that the tape is a matter of legitimate public concern given Hogan's huge public profile and the fact that he has openly discussed his sex life in the past. Most of the stories that we publish, I'm not just happy to defend, I'm delighted to defend because I think that they are essential to free expression and the free press. Gawker also argued that the clip was presented in a newsworthy manner, as it was accompanied by a 1,400-word article and had been edited down from 30 minutes to just a couple. Number 5. What was the final verdict? A verdict was delivered on March 18, 2016, when the six-person jury ruled in favor of Hogan and found Gawker Media liable 
for $115 million in compensatory damages and $25 million in punitive damages. Gawker mounted an appeal, but was unsuccessful in overturning the decision as of early June 2016. Hogan's lawyer, David Houston, said in a released statement, quote, Gawker has failed and continues to fail in recognizing their obligation to Balea for their reprehensible behavior and method of doing what they call journalism. Number four, could this lawsuit bankrupt Gawker? Hogan's nine-figure award is a huge sum in a trial of this type far exceeding average payouts for major physical injuries and even wrongful death in America. And for Gawker, it could prove to be impossible to recover from such a financial hit. If the judge imposes a $50 million bond, then the company is likely to collapse under figures that are simply too massive to manage. In the wake of Nick Denton's stubborn defense of Gawker's right to publish the video, The Guardian reports that he could go down as, quote, both creator and destroyer of the web blog business. Number three, has Gawker been sued before? He really only has himself to blame for the predicament that he's in. Though it has never been involved in a trial as high profile or as damaging as this one, Gawker is no stranger to the courtroom. In January 2014, Hollywood director Quentin Tarantino filed a copyright lawsuit against the company after it published links to the 146-page screenplay for The Hateful Eight. Got room for one more? Quote, Gawker Media has made a business of predatory journalism, violating people's rights to make a buck, said a statement on Tarantino's behalf. Gawker has also been sued from within, as in 2013, a group of unpaid interns pushed for minimum wage payment for their roles in the company. In this instance, the court ruled in favor of Gawker. Number two, could this affect journalism? While many will have cheered Hogan's potential knockout blow to Gawker in court, the ruling against the media company may have harsh implications for journalism in general. The $140 million total damages set a new precedent for cases of this type and indicates a significant shift in power. Other firms that have watched Gawker's punishment unfold may vow to never find themselves in a similar position, which could result in increasingly safe journalism in the future. Regardless of whether the Hogan sex tape should have been published or not, the trial has forced the media to rethink its practices because one bad decision could place your company at the brink of bankruptcy. Number one, what is Gawker's next step? I think in many people's eyes, you know, just trying to draw the line between privacy and the free press. Nick Denton and Gawker have vowed to continue the fight against Hulk Hogan, to clear the company's name and escape the payment of damages. We do put the story first and I am uh, unapologetic about that. In response to Peter Thiel's confirmation as Hogan's financial backer, Gawker now has a Silicon Valley billionaire in its own corner, eBay co-founder Pierre Omidyar. Omidyar and Thiel are previously linked as eBay bought PayPal in 2002, after which Thiel eventually left the company along with other former PayPal executives. As of May 2016, Denton was reportedly considering a potential sale of Gawker after the company's motion for a new trial was denied. It's a serious case. So, while Hogan was able to celebrate with a royal win for the time being, that doesn't mean the story isn't set to rumble on for some time. Well, let me tell you something, brother! Did these facts get you thinking? To vote for which news story is covered next, head over to watchmojo.com slash suggest. And be sure to hit that subscribe button for more newsworthy top tens published every week. Tonight marks the turning point of my career.